good morning today is friday um august oh my goodness august 17th today is friday august 17th and i haven't been vlogging all week i haven't video anything all week so i wanted to video kind of like a, a friday in kindergarten and basically our fridays are a little different because we do a saxon lesson but we don't have an actual section and this is makeup <laughs> have an actual sex and worksheet and so um we just go through and review our sex and lesson and we do a practice sheet and then we we go outside today of course we have treat sale today which is like a um it's like a fundraiser for the school but basically the kids if they're in their best behavior then they get to buy treats today and um i'm looking at the door because it's almost time for my kids to come in so i'm trying to hurry up and do this and then um we just do a little fun stuff today um we're gonna finish our centers because we did start centers this week we did start center rotation so we're gonna finish our centers we have um music and library today but library is not officially open because the librarian does our star testing and she's getting all that together um for the beginning of the year and so for um library i probably just read a book or my assistant read a book or we might just watch something um about good character something on um youtube or something like that but usually today usually fridays are really laid back um really kind of fun fridays we try to make them fun um today is friday so we're just gonna go with it see how this goes um and yeah stay tuned Letters in our alphabet. Letters in our alphabet. 
Okay, so it is about 9.15, and when they come in in the morning, um, I usually let them do, we start our day at 7.45, but of course they come in like earlier than that. So like at 7.30, they usually come in, and I let them do like fine motor activities. So sometimes we might do blocks, sometimes we'll do Play-Doh, sometimes we'll do, um, handwriting just like different little activities just to get them into the day and just to get them you know warmed up and moving and motivated and so uh this morning we did blocks we did blocks this morning and they can just it's it's, it's free uh free build they can build whatever they want create whatever they want um they i did have to go through and explain to them we're gonna stay away from weapons because they will try to build like guns and different things like that so we have we try to stay away from weapons and they know that um you still have your few that do it but you know um then after that we actually start our day on fridays we have what we call principal's challenge and kindergarten does not do principal's challenge because it's like a um long story comprehension uh that the principal reads over the intercom so we don't usually do that then after that we'll do our or simultaneously we'll do our um calendar routine days of the week months of the year council 100 things of that nature and then we go in with our sex and lesson so even though we don't have an actual lesson like we just did one through four this week we do one lesson a day then on fridays we just kind of like recap and might do a like activity today i did handwriting because they are still having trouble writing the letter l and so we did handwriting today now they are in the restroom because usually we would have library but library is closed so instead of doing library we're going they went to the restroom and when they come back we are going to do a um probably like a quick activity uh something pertaining to or something on the smart board as far as like good character or being a good friend things of that nature might be like a little short video and then it'll be time for music um they absolutely love me i think i keep hearing somebody at my door they absolutely love music so when we get back from music then we'll start our center rotations so on wednesdays and fridays on wednesday thursdays and fridays they are out of the classroom for a solid hour then we usually start our rotations after that so um, I just wanted to check in with you all and let you know what we were doing. And I'm trying to get clips of here and there um, of my students who are, uh, what, what we're actually doing. And so, yeah, y'all just stay tuned and uh, keep watching. Bye. Okay, so I am back. My kids are off to music. Um, they came in from um, the restroom and we just watched uh, Mother Goose Clubhouse and they just like they like singing the songs and the nursery rhymes and stuff. But anyway, um, I did want to come in and chit chat about like handwriting and stuff. Now, I know a lot of people um, as far as like teachers and stuff, we're moving towards a lot of hands on things and getting them to actually... Uh, work with their hands and not just using paper and pencil which I am as well that's why I like doing centers because I don't do a lot of paper centers we do usually like um, activities crafts projects that different type of things so I'm into that however I still think it's so important that they know how to hold a pencil write with the pencil use the pencil so with that being said we still do uh, worksheets as far as them writing um letters and i want to show it to you like for our writing segment today and i'm gonna just flip his knife down for our writing segment today of course this week we're doing the letter l so my teammate found this um this uh worksheet and basically it's just the capital L's and the lowercase L's and they practice holding their pencil they trace it then they write it on their own and then once they finish that we wrote it on the they wrote it on the back by themselves and um I like doing this basically because it helps with handwriting 
like I, I see an improvement with handwriting in my class when I did it last year and I just feel like they need to be able to maneuver a page they need to know to write their name at the top they need to know we read and write from left to right top to bottom they need to understand that format and so I still push paper and pencil I, I, I do both I do paper and pencil and then I do hands-on crafts, manipulatives, things of that nature. And I was watching a video. I don't know who it was. Oh, my God. I can't even remember who it was. But they were just basically saying it because it was like a big deal. Like, like stop killing the trees. Use uh, less paper. The kids don't need to just be sitting there writing, writing, writing. And basically, what she was saying was... Um, you don't tell anyone how to run your classroom as long as it's effective and the students are getting what they need and they are learning. So basically, for example, me, I use paper and pencil and I use hands-on and it works for me. Somebody else might have, uh, and we have six centers, so this week, three of my centers, I had to look at my centers, three of my centers are actually paper-based centers because they need it then the other three are um we did a craft and i'll actually show you the centers we did a craft and then we get we have blocks out so they can build and create with blocks and then we have uh what's my other center i think we did a puzzle no it was a drawing activity it was the letter l they had to color the letter l and draw something that um began with the letter l so i still do paper and pencil but i, I incorporate activities and different things to go along with it with all my centers are not paper and pencil and they just sitting there writing 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 throughout each center i do think that's redundant i do i do think that's boring for my class and my personality because i don't like to just sit there and write 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 write, write. and so and also, we went to a center's training um, that the Department of Education put on, and they were basically saying, you know, put a uh, high energy center with a, next to a low energy center. So you could do like a handwriting center, and then you could have a puzzle center. Then you could have like another, maybe handwriting, but a, like a number center or something, what they need to a quiet center, and then you can have a, um, a block center. So it's not like constant talking and high energy on one side of the classroom and low energy on another. You need to distribute your energy accordingly. And I mean, I guess that's another way to look at it. You know, it just depends on what type of teacher you are, what type of classroom you have, um, the goals you have set for your classroom. And at the end of the day, it's about the students. If they are learning and it's effective and they are uh, building knowledge, I say go for it. Um, because I don't think I'm going to give up on paper and pencil. Because let's just be honest. They need this. Like, they really do need this. Um, so that was just my little tidbit. I did want to come in. Now I will talk about the centers we are doing. Let me show you the centers. This week our centers were very basic. And when I say very basic, I mean like stuff they could do with ease on their own. So, here are my center boxes. And I don't know if I'm going to keep this uh, method, how I'm doing this. But basically... They had to color the letter L and draw something. And he said he drew uh, love. That's his heart. It goes with the letter L. Um, a bright. Hey, this little boy said he drew a lizard. Okay. A lollipop. Another lollipop. So they just colored the letter L. And they had to draw something that goes with it. So that begins with L. Alright. Then my other center. I had was a handwriting center. So they practiced uh, tracing their numbers 1 through 10 because this week we are working on numbers 1 through 10. And then they were supposed to write them on the back. I guess they didn't finish. So like some this little person, I don't know if it's a girl or boy, wrote them on the back. They did. But these centers are so, um, and what I mean by basic is it's something that they can do with ease on their own. However, it keeps them like so motivated. Well, not motivated. It keeps them involved because like they were supposed to complete the center and then write the uh, letters on the back. This person, this little person wrote them on the back. But some of them didn't get to it because centers are new. Centers are different for them and they're just not used to doing centers. So now I'm going to show you the, activ the hands-on activities we did. Um, we did blocks. So each table, each person at the table had their own uh, 
own basket of blocks and they could create and build whatever they want to create and build we try to promote um creativity and exploration and then we our theme this week is back to well for this month is back to school and apples so they finger painted apples that's their apples and then I pulled some of them for my kindergarten assessment and I'm not sure where we got this kindergarten assessment from because I want to show it to y'all because we have actually had this kindergarten assessment for I think going on three years now okay so I'm back um actually it is like a couple hours later my kids are it's already after lunch and my kids are it's um recess they're outside and i usually like to go outside especially on a friday but i did want to just um talk about this kindergarten assessment i have actually had to look back at what the what i just filmed earlier so, so i could remember what i was talking about but it's the kindergarten assessment um and we did finish center centers went okay this week like i'm i'm pleasantly um surprised and happy with how centers went this week because by being our first time doing centers teaching rotations teaching procedures and routines in centers it being new to the book of them but by it being my, some of my kids the first time doing it i was really happy about it okay so this is the kindergarten assessment and basically can they write their name color words and if they don't know the color words, what I was just doing was t reading the words to them. And if they could color it, because they actually have their crayons here. If they can color it themselves, then I did. We went through uh, these um, shapes. Then they counted for me. Oops. They counted for me how far they can count up to. Identify their numbers. Write their let write their numbers from one to ten counts objects um letter a capital identify capital letters identify lowercase letters and identify the sounds and then they were supposed to i was supposed to write their name here and they tell me what letters are in their name and then tell me like these are the fine motor skills if they can hold a pencil correctly use scissors correctly cut correctly colors inside the lines and which one is their dominant hand and then just additional notes so that is what we did for the kindergarten assessment and um uh, i'm not finished with it however i am i am moving slowly but surely my goal is to actually be finished by back to school night so i can show the parents um just like what they did and you know what they know and what they don't know <laughs> pretty much but anyway i just wanted to check in um this is the aftermath of my centers like i'm still teaching my kids oh and i forgot to show y'all this we did the clip cards and they were supposed to clip the capital to the lowercase so we did those and then um matching shapes so whatever shape matches down here so this was at this table i forgot to show y'all that earlier but um this is the aftermath of my centers they're supposed to put their papers in this uh bucket or this big box or whatever however they're still learning to stack up stuff and neatly put it in push chairs under things of that nature the block center did pretty good because they actually put the blocks in up and set them at one at a chair so that's okay my uh paint center did pretty good they didn't get as wild as i thought it was gonna be because anytime we do paint oh god like paint i have to like really get myself prepared to paint anyway i'm gonna get ready to go outside because i like to go outside with the kids and it's just fun for me and i'll check back in later bye hey y'all welcome back so it's the end of the day and i just wanted to come on and end this um this clip and hopefully i got some really good footage and uh we shall see but today was a really really good day it's already about 3 30 3 45 and we can actually leave at 2 20 on uh fridays so i'm about to get out of here and i'll
catch y'all next week. Bye.